Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do the real review for the Google Pixel 6a. Now you can pick this one up online, I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, 450 bucks. I repeat, 450 bucks. Now this one comes in three different colors. You got charcoal, chalk, and sage. In other words, white, black, and green. All right, so let's go through all of the specs. For the display, you got a 6.1 inch OLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2400. That is 429 for the PPI Patrol. The phone is IP67, dust and water resistant. You got Gorilla Glass 3 on the front for protection, plastic on the back, and a 60 hertz refresh rate. Now for the processor, you got the Google Tensor, okay, with the Mali G78 MP20 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. Now you got six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running Android 12, that's the stock UI. Now you got a 4,410 milliamp battery that features 18 watt charging. I'm not gonna say fast charge, charging. For the cameras, on the rear you got a dual setup. So you got a 12 megapixel wide angle and another 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. On the front, you got an 8 megapixel wide angle lens and you can shoot 4K video at 60 frames per second and 1080p on the front. Now you got dual stereo speakers, Bluetooth 5.2, Wi-Fi, NFC, always on display, and an on-screen fingerprint sensor. All right, so all of that for 450 bucks. Let's see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White shoes, calm down. Now, the side note, shout out to Google. They did send me a Pixel 6a to review, but of course, I want to give y'all the real review, so I had to buy one myself, okay? So this way I could talk freely. All right, as far as the presentation, now, as you can automatically see, no charger in the box, okay? I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Grab a little unboxing knife. Let's do one more. Make sure we got that first one. Rah. Woo! I love it. Okay, here we go. Now, this is the sage color. Okay, aka, so it looks like green. Okay, let's see what you get inside the box. This is going to be your device. Okay, Google Pixel 6a tensor. Okay, got your SIM ejection tool, got your usual books and shit. And of course, you got your USB Type C to USB Type C charging cable. Now you got a little OTG also. No charger in the box, okay? I don't like this. Now I know some of y'all gonna say, oh well, you know, everybody got chargers laying around. A lot of y'all got old school phones with 10 watt or 15 watt charging bricks, okay? Even though this doesn't have fast charge, it still has 18 watt charging. All right, so why not just put the charger in the box? I don't like that, okay? I don't like that. All right, here we go. Here's your device, all right? Now, Shoes is kind of feeling this phone. This is the Sage Pixel 6a, okay? Also known as the Peasant Pixel. Now, on a side note, when y'all hand me you the words, <laughs> use the word peasant, I am just joking. Everybody knows I'm the captain of Team Peasant, okay? I'll be doing a lot of peasantry, especially with these gas prices and inflation. I'm, on the, I'm the supreme peasant right now. So if you hear me say the Peasant Pixel, I'm talking about the 6a, then you got the 6, and then you got the big boy, the 6 Pro. Now, just for size comparison, this is a 6 Pro. The 6 Pro is a lot bigger. Now, I don't have the 6 anymore, but it's right in between these two sizes. And just for color comparison, this is the black version, okay, the charcoal, and this is the sage, okay? So let me grab the phone, delete my browsing history, and then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. Now, of course, I gotta show y'all some of my favorite cases from Ghost Tech. First up, we got the Covert 6. Now, all of these cases run around 15 bucks. Now, this one is R2 Impact Technology, drop tested to eight feet. You got anti-fingerprint coating, okay, reactive buttons, HD clear back. You got diamond grips, raised camera lip for maximum protection, detailed cutouts, okay, non-slip grip, limited lifetime warranty, okay? So let's go ahead and check this one out. Flick of the wrist. 
Now, inside all of these cases, of course, got your certificate of authenticity, plug it and file it, and your Ghost Tech Troll stickers. I like that. Okay, flick of the wrist, flick of the wrist. Okay, this is the Covert 6. All right, so let's get and slap this one on. Now, if you notice, extra protection around the bumpers. Okay, nice amount of rigidity, so it's Slam Boy certified. Let's check the buttons. Okay, nice press on that button. Okay, easy to hit. Let's check the cutouts. Everything lines up. Okay, now let's get a little wipe down. Bong, transparent back. Okay, so this is the Covert 6. Now it does come in a bunch of colors. Let's check those out real quick. Okay, now this one is dope. If you got a nice white, the chalky version, or if you got the, um, the green pixel, you might like this one right here. Showcase the color of your phone. Look at that. Oh, this one looks beautiful. Okay. Slam Boy certified. Let's pop this one off. Now, it also comes in the red. Okay, kind of has a, a reddish hue to it. Let's check this one out. Okay. Bong, here it is. Okay, let's go ahead and slap this one on. There's how it looks. Now, of course, y'all know I got OCD, so I like to give you the wipe down. All right, wipe me down. Buttons, cutouts, buttons, cutouts. These covert cases are must-have for me. All right, now I want to show you. I'll, I'll let this one rock for a minute. I like that one. That might be my favorite color, the clear one. Now, we got another one. We got the covert limited edition, okay? The limited edition. Now, y'all know. Oh, now this one. This is that red, red, okay? This one is even more red. Flick of the wrist. This one has hard shell transparent back okay just like this one but you're getting some limited edition colors okay individually numbered certificate of authenticity okay there's all the TikTok, instagram ghost tech logos i like that let's wipe down the phone first okay we'll slap this one on now this red right here this red is it all right this is it right here let's check the buttons okay easy presses same amount of resivity, same protection on the bumpers. Bang, just like that. Okay, now this one comes in a few different colors. Check this out. We got purple, okay? Now the purple one, ladies, if you get the chalk, the chalk version, let's see how the purple and green go. This might be a little, this might be the Miami colorway right here. All right, we calling this the Miami colors right here. Okay, the purple and green. Okay, real nice. Let's see what else we got. Okay. Covert limited. Oh, look at this green. Oh, now look at this green right here. Okay, this is it right here. This is it. This green and this green right here. Hard shell glass on the back. Oh, yeah, this is the one right here. This is the one. Rock these with my Air Max 95s. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is tough. And of course, the Slam Boy certifications. And we got one more. Let's take a look at the the blue okay this blue is sick too okay now if you got the white if you got the white pixel 6a this blue is gonna look hard matter of fact yeah let's try it on the black okay oh this is tough right here too okay this is the nice navy blue pretty sick look at the camera okay nice and deep so it's not gonna get scratched up giggity and of course the Slam Boy certifications. Protect your investment with a dope case from Ghost Tech. Let's keep it moving. All right, y'all, so we'll be back in. Now, before I get started with all of my usual likes and dislikes, I gotta answer the main question everybody been asking me all week. Is the Google Pixel 6a the best Android phone that you could get for under 500 bucks? And I'm gonna say the answer is yes and no. Here's how it goes. If you got Sprint, or Verizon or any other CDMA network, then the answer is yes. This is easily the best Android phone for under 500 bucks. However, if you got AT&T, T-Mobile, or any other GSM network, the best Android phone on the market for under 500 bucks is the Xiaomi 12. And let me back that up with some facts. First of all, if you go to GizTop, here's the price. 498. 
So that's under 500 bucks. But why do I like the 12 better? Let's break it down. Number one, the build quality, okay? Now with the Pixel, you got the plastic frame, plastic back versus frosted glass. Now look, there's an argument to be made. If you got Butterfingeritis, or you're buying this phone for a little kid, or you're buying it as your work phone, and you're always dropping it, you're always getting it wet, if you're going through the ringers, maybe this is your throwaway phone, then yeah, plastic back is gonna be more durable. But if you're buying this as your main phone, and you're gonna be on the house, you're gonna be chilling in the bed on Instagram all night, you want your phone to have a premium feel to it, okay? Because even if you rock a case, at some point you're gonna take the case off and enjoy the phone's materials, this one just feels a 100 times better. If somebody told you to close your eyes and put each of these phones in your hand and ask you which one costs more, you immediately gonna say the 12. My personal opinion, I like glass backs better. Next, the display, okay? Now for protection on the Pixel, you got Google, uh, Gorilla Glass 3. With the 12, you got Gorilla Glass V. That's the maximum protection. Next, speaking of display, the refresh rate, 60 hertz versus 120 hertz. Do the math yourself. That's double the hertage. All right, that's a lot of hertz. Next, the display size. Now check this out. Even though both of these phones are literally the same size, watch this. I'm gonna turn them on. Let me turn it on. Open them both up. Okay, put it. On. Let me put the right password in. I don't know if you can see this or not, but even though they're both the same size. The screen is actually bigger, okay? It's bigger and wider on the 12. So the screen is bigger even though the phones are the same size. So even if you're looking for a smaller phone that you could easily put in your pocket, why not have one that's the same size but a bigger display, okay? Next, RAM and storage. Six gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage versus 12 gigs of RAM, 128 or 256. You got the option. Okay, so more RAM, more storage. Next, video. Now this one has 4K, 60 frames per second, but the 12, you can shoot 8K. Now, so if you heavy into filmography and you try to be the next uh, Martin Scorsese, I right? <laughs> you're trying to be his cousin, Sid Scorsese, all right, the hood version, you're gonna want that 8K video. Now me, I don't, really, I don't really care about that, but you gotta mention this stuff, all right? Both of them have 4K, 60 frames, but the 12 has 8K. Next. Battery, with the Pixel, 4,410. With the 12, you got a 4,500 milliamp battery that features real fast charging. All right, so the Pixel, 18 watt charging. This is 67 watt charging. Not to mention, the charger comes in the box. In the box. Next, face unlock, okay? You don't have it on the Pixel, you do have it on the 12. Next, wireless charge. No wireless charge in the Pixel, Wireless charge on the 12. And reverse wireless charge. Not on the Pixel. Next, you can customize, you're always on display. On the 12, you can't do that on the Pixel. Next, you got an IR blaster. No IR blaster. You got second space, also known as thought protection. You don't have that. You got floating windows. You don't have that. All right, so the list can go on and on. I could, I could petty this apart, but basically for under 500 bucks, the 12 is a better buy. Now I will say this, the 12 doesn't have IP rating. The Pixel does. So the Pixel is gonna be a more durable phone. The plastic back is gonna last you longer and it is water resistant. Not to mention, the Pixel does have a better point and shoot camera. Okay, so if you're a novice and you don't know how to use Pro Mode and all of that, you don't need to. The Pixel is the point and shoot camera <laughs> of your dreams. And I'll go a little bit further and say that the Pixel camera on the 6A, even though we calling it the peasant phone, this peasant phone camera is better than a lot of y'all's phones that cost seven, eight, nine hundred dollars from Vivo and Realme and Redmi. This is one of the supreme Android camera phones, okay, for under 500 bucks. Not to mention, one of the biggest things, support, okay? Now, if you plan on keeping this phone for four years, you're gonna get four years of update. Anytime Google comes out with a new uh, 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 version of Android, you're gonna have that first. With the 12, you're not getting that. You may get a year of updates, maybe two, but you're not guaranteed the four that you're guaranteed with Pixel, okay? So I hope that answers your question. If you're looking for longevity, 
If you're looking for 5G service on AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, T-Mobile, you're going to get everything on the Pixel. With the 12, it's, it's a better phone. It beats it in a lot of categories, but you're not going to get 5G in certain areas, and it's not going to work on CDMA networks, such as Sprint and Verizon. Okay, with that being said, there's always going to be some things that I like and some things that I don't like. So let's talk about the things that I don't like first. Number one, like I said earlier, the build quality, okay? Now, I'm not a big fan of the plastic backs, but I get it, and I get it. I understand where they're going with it. You know, it's more durable. You can feel confident dropping this down the stairs. But here's how, it, here's how to me, the easiest way to describe how it feels. If you ever go in the store to play with a phone, and sometimes they just have the dummy phone out, all right, for all y'all dummies, <laughs> take, out, take out the dummy phone out, this feels like the dummy version of the Pixel 6 Pro. Like if somebody gave you the real one, you'd be like, oh yeah, this is the 6 Pro, this is nice. But they gave you the dummy one right after that, you'd be like, okay, it looks the same, but it just feels hollow. It feels like something's missing. Where's the inside of the phone? It just doesn't have that premium feel to it. Now, I know some of y'all are looking for the thinnest and lightest phone in the, in the market, and this one is thin and light. But it just doesn't have that premium feel. I like to have a premium feel on my phones. Next, the fingerprint sensor. Now, after all of these updates, let me pull out my, my, now this is my real Pixel. This is my, I'm selling this 6 Pro, by the way, anybody wanna buy it? This is my real 6 Pro that I can't sell, okay? But if you notice, let's do that again. After all of these updates, y'all remember when I did the first video? Uh, look, now it's gonna troll me. When I did the first video, the fingerprint sensor was absolute garbage. They did about 12 updates, and now it doesn't make me mad. It doesn't make me mad, but it's still light years behind phones like Xiaomi, Realme, Redmi. Look at the fingerprint sensor on this. This is how it's supposed to be. You're not even supposed to think about it. You just tap it and it opens. You see how sometimes I miss the right angle. It's supposed to pop just like that. The 6 Pro, I mean the Pixel 6a, it's still not the best. It's not the worst. Okay, let me not be dramatic. It's not the worst. But in 2022, you shouldn't have to think about it. You shouldn't have to place your finger and hold it. It should be bong. It should be bong. Now look, all of y'all Google apologists don't come talking about, oh, well, they're doing that because it's supposed to be more secure. Blah, blah, blah. Cut the bullshit, okay? It ain't supposed to be like that. Like, it's supposed to be you press one button quickly and it just pop right open. I don't I don't like this. Now, it may seem like I'm being petty, but it's going to hurt you. All right? It's going to get on your nerves the one time when you're in a rush to go to a meeting or you, you're trying to hurry up and do something and you jump in the elevator. You got literally... 36 seconds to do some shit before you get out of your floor and you pull your phone out and you go like this and it doesn't open You're gonna be mad All right, you're gonna be mad now. I set this up with a hundred different angles <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it should be look it I'm, I, I don't want to be I don't want to be over dramatic. I'm not gonna call it trash But it's just it's just not the best like I said it's light years behind everything else next no wireless charge. Now, don't even come at me talking about, oh, it got the plastic back, so you can't have wireless charge. That's cap. All right, that's 100% cap. There's plenty of phones out right now that have plastic backs with wireless charge. All right, Samsung has entered the chat. Samsung makes a lot of phones with plastic backs and wireless charge. Okay, so that's no excuse. Wireless charge. Again, I done invested maybe $1,000 worth of wireless charges. I got them all over my house. I need wireless charge, okay? No wireless charge, I, I don't like that. Next, now I got OCD, this is this kind of petty, but look at the back of this phone. I, 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 hate, I hate the fingerprint magnet phones. Like these days is over, all right? Everything now is eco leather, frosted glass, matte finish. I don't like these, these fingerprint magnety phones, magnety, <laughs> these fingerprint magnety phones, okay? I don't, I don't like that. Next. Now, this is huge for me, no face unlock, okay? No face unlock. When you pick up your phone, you should just look at it and it just pop open. Oh, now I forgot to put this on. Um, let me let me show you, let me, let me go to settings real quick. I wanna show you how to pop, okay? When you pick up your phone, you should just look at it, bong, just like that. Bong, bong, okay? Face unlock, especially when you got Greasy fingers, okay? Now, right now, behind this, I said now, right now. <laughs> I'm sitting behind the camera. 
I had to turn off my AC so y'all don't hear that humming noise in the background. So I'm boiling. All right, it's about 100 degrees in New York. I'm in the basement. So my hands is already a little bit sticky, which would probably uh, contribute to why my fingerprint sensor is not going as fast as it is, because my hand is a little sticky. Let's get a little wipe down to try it, try it official. Yeah, you see, you see what I'm saying? Look, man. Anyway, you eating chicken, you got grease all over your hands, you back here sweating, your fingerprint sensor is gonna be acting up when it's wet. This is why you need face unlock. Google face unlock, okay? I need face unlock. Now, here we go again. Oh, it's not that secure. Let me pull out the hater voice. Oh, my face unlock is not that secure. It's not about security. It's about convenience, okay? Now, I'm just as sweaty right now. And look at this. Bang. Bang. Let me get rid of the camera. Without even touching anything. You see all my fingers? Bang. Like I have chicken all over it. Open up the phone. And even as moist as my finger is, I moist. <laughs> I can still use the fingerprint sensor with no issues on this phone. So, having a wet finger too, that shouldn't be, that shouldn't be any excuse for your fingerprint sensor to not work. Okay, like, like, I don't like that, I don't like that. Next, RAM and storage, okay, six gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage, that's good for the price, but they need to bring out the option to have eight gigs, 256, because what good is having four years of updates? You're not keeping your phone for four years with 128 gigs of storage unless you barely use it. You buy this phone for a kid, okay, and tell them, okay, this is gonna be your phone for the next couple of years, Three weeks later, they're gonna be like, yo, I ain't got no storage yet. They be taking 101 pictures, downloading everything under the sun. 128 gigs of storage, it's just not enough. And six gigs of RAM, all your background apps, you gotta keep refreshing them. It ain't enough. I didn't ain't enough in 2022. Maybe three years ago, that could have passed the test, but right now, this is not passing. I just not passing the smell test. <laughs> That's why I didn't even do the smell test on this phone. Now look, I'm just kidding. I'm not, I, don't wanna, I, don't wanna, I don't wanna be over dramatic because for under 500 bucks, we could, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of things that I like. We're gonna talk about them, but I just gotta, I gotta get this off my chest. Next, the display, 60 hertz. Do you not, at the beginning of the video, when I was reading the specs, do you know how hard it was for me to say 60 hertz without laughing? And even, I'm, this is a true story, even when I was upstairs and I was like, all right, let me get ready for, you know, I'm getting mentally prepared to shoot the video. I'm saying to myself, when you say 60 hertz, don't laugh. I don't laugh, try to get through it. Because even upstairs, I, as I did my little, you know, I, I, I try to, you know, think about the specs in my mind, I kept laughing, all right? 60 hertz, that is trash in 2022. You got every phone under the sun, even the peasant, the most peasant, Phones of peasantry, the G, the blue G ninety ones, those got ninety hertz. That's two hundred and fifty dollar phone. This is fifty dollars more with one hundred and twenty hertz. Here we go again. Oh uh, well, you can't really tell sixty hertz and nine years or one hundred and twenty hertz. Uh, oh yes, you can. <laughs> oh yes, you can. Once you start using a phone with one hundred and twenty hertz, and you go back down to sixty, you're gonna be like, damn, mom, why is this phone like? It, it just feels slow. It just feels a little bit slow. Now, of course. You could go to your animation speeds and, you know, window scaling and all that bullshit. But you shouldn't have to do that. All right, for 450 bucks in 2022, this should have minimum 90 hertz. Minimum 60 hertz. That, that's laughable. All right, that's laughable. But I'm patting myself on the back because I didn't laugh. But that's pretty laughable. Pretty laughable. Next, no fast charge. Okay, here we go again. $50 more, 67 watt charge. All right, that's zero to 100% in 39 minutes, basically 40 minutes. Nowadays, all right, now we're gonna talk about OnePlus and all these other companies with 120 watt charging speeds. I would say 30 to 40 minutes, that's gonna be the new standard, okay? Ain't nobody sitting around for two hours charging up a phone no more, okay? 18 watts and then have the audacity to not even put that little bullshit charger in the box. I don't like that, Google. <laughs> Now look, I'm, no, no disrespect, Google. I'm sorry, no, no disrespect. I right, no disrespect, but I don't like that. Okay, I don't like that. No charge in the box and the bullshit charging speed. Next, customization. Now this is one of the things. Let's go ahead and open this up. This is one of the things that I don't like about this phone: lack of customization. First of all, look at the always on display. Okay, this is your always on display. Now, if you go sit at a table with 10 other people with Pixel 6a's, all of your always-on displays are gonna look the same. You can't change it. 
I like having all, always on displays that look like this. I right, look at the, the Saturn moons. I can have my picture on the phone. I can have myself. I can have my cat, my car, anything, anything. No customizable, always on display. And then even with the OS, okay? You can't move the Google bar from the bottom. Now, if y'all seen any one of my videos, I keep my home screens. They always look the same after all of these years. I like to have my Google search bar at the top, okay? And I like to have my beautiful widgets and then everything else. No customization, no floating windows, you know, no no gimmicks. And we'll talk about more, we'll talk more about that in a minute, but no gimmicks, which kind of makes this phone feel boring. I right? it, it just makes it feel boring, which I know a lot of y'all look forward to. Some of y'all want stock Android because you don't care about floating windows, you don't care about edge panels, right? you don't care about a little knickknack gimmicks here and there. But you're spending your money. Right? You're spending your money, you should care. Okay, because with a lot of these other phones, if you don't into, if you're not into floating windows, don't use them. But you have the option. Okay, that's my big gripe. I don't care about you know certain features not being the best or you know not not being as good as others. But give me the option to play with it and use it. I hate when you just don't have that option at all. Because I actually do use floating windows a lot. All right, so no customization. Lack of customization, shall I say. Which, on a side note, now you see a little hiccup, which, on a side note, you could actually download a third-party launcher and get all of this stuff, but I'm reviewing this phone fresh out of the box as a stock phone, okay? That's not a stock feature. Now, y'all know they call me Petty Roosevelt, so there's a couple of petty things that I got to talk about first, okay? The power button. I, <laughs> now, out of all of the pixels that I've ever owned, okay, I hate the way they put the power button above the volume up and down. I hate that, okay? Now, if you got the Pixel, the big boy, the power button is mad high, all right? The power button is up too high. It's too goddamn high, okay? I don't like that. I always press the volume button instead of power. If you're gonna put it up this high, at least put the volume rockers on this side, okay? So there's no accidental touches. The power button, same thing on this one. I've done it a couple of times. The good thing is that this phone's a little bit smaller for me, but I just hate having the power button up that high. Now, if you look around at most Android phones, you you rarely ever gonna see the power button above the volume buttons. It, it just doesn't it just doesn't work like that. In my opinion, I don't like that. And of course, my last petty gripe: the no charge in the box. Okay, I don't I don't like that. Now, let's talk about everything that I do like. Now, look, it might seem like I'm bashing this phone a little bit. But I do that out of love, all right? This is tough love because I love the Google software. I love Google products. I want them to do better. This phone right now, you see after the updates, the Pixel 6 Pro is back in my top five. This phone is easily the best Android phone for Sprint and Verizon for under 500 bucks. And for everything else, this is the second best Android phone for under 500 bucks. This is a certified beast reliability, all right? The key word about this phone is reliability. Once you turn it on and you get past that fingerprint sensor, everything is gonna work. And not only is it gonna work, it's gonna work smooth and fluidly, okay? Let's start by talking about the build quality. On the back, there's your double camera setup. I actually like the look of this. I'm glad that, you know, Google did something different. You know, everybody, everybody on this square camera on the back, okay? I like that they went with the you know, the uh, horizontal stripe on the back. It looks dope. Okay, there's your LED flash. Minimum branding. All right, just a little G. All right, I like that. On one side, you got your uh, volume up and down, your power button. On the top, you got a mic. On this side, SIM ejection, uh, your SIM tray. On the bottom, there's uh, two of your speaker grills and your USB Type-C charging slot. Now, the other speaker grill is on the top. Build quality on this phone, I do like it. I just, uh, the plastic feel just kind of makes it feel a little bit cheapy. All right, not cheap, but it just doesn't feel premium. Now, y'all remember when Samsung was doing the glastic backs where you really couldn't tell the difference? Like, it just feels like, it feels like glass. It just feels like a, a lighter version of glass. This ain't that, all right? This feels like plastic. And again, you might be looking for that. Okay, now, if I was working as an auto mechanic, uh, maybe a police department, or maybe I was still working on the uh, EMS back on the ambulance back in the days, this would have been perfect, because every time you jump out the car and you drop your phone somewhere, you want a plastic back. It's gonna be more durable, and like I said earlier, if you're buying this for your little kids, you don't wanna be replacing backs of phones, okay, because they definitely gonna drop it. So the build quality on this, it's water resistant, 
Okay, it's, it's pretty much a tank. Okay, now, I wish they would have went with Gorilla Glass Victus on the front. You know, if you already, you already save money by not using glass on the back and not having wireless charge, spend the extra money and put the Gorilla Glass V on the front. But it is what it is, all right? So the build quality, no real issues with that. Next, a couple of different ways you can open up the device, okay? You can swipe up, put in your, now you can't put in a pattern, you can swipe up, put in your pin number, or you got your uh, on-screen fingerprint sensor, which, if I had to rate this to fingerprint sensor on the one to 10, I would give it a solid seven. I would give it a seven. Because look, if you, now I'm being dramatic, but if I really wanted to, I could go like this and open it 100% of the time. I just have to look at it, think about it, and just have to take my time. I could open it 100% of the time. But a lot of times, you know, you're just so used to going like this and running around, you got you got a drink in one hand. Somebody say, oh, take my picture real quick. Hold on a second. You just want to go like this and take the picture? Like, you shouldn't have to do all of that, okay? But you do have, you can put in your pad in, and you do have your uh, fingerprint sensor. Next, you do have always on display. Okay, it does show you your time, date, the weather, and your notifications. Now, here's another thing that I don't like, but it's kind of petty. You see the notifications on the always on display? I don't know if you, let me, let me wipe this one down so you can see it. Oh, I don't have any notifications, but if I did, they come up bright and colorful with the actual colors of the icons. These notifications, they're not too colorful. You get the weather notification will be in color, but the regular notifications, they just grayed out. They just grayed out. I don't know, I'm, I ain't really feeling that too much. All right, <laughs> I don't even feel that too much. Anyway, like I was saying, no reliability. This is, if you, look, let, let me put it like this. You got an iPhone, all right? You got an iPhone 13, a iPhone 12, whatever you got. Maybe you did heavy into iPhones and you want to play around with the Android ecosystem. You want to have both. In this day and age, why not have both? Some phones have other features that some don't. Put both of these in your pocket. This would be the way to go, okay? This would be the way to go. This is a safe bet. Even safer than buying the Xiaomi phone, because you a lot of y'all, you know, including me on the low, like I don't really support. <laughs> let, me, let me be careful how I say this. I don't really support the Chinese communist regime. I, you know, shout out. Even though Xi Jinping is my man and all that, but I don't, I don't support. You, you can, you allowed to have friends and not support what they do. You know what I'm saying? Me, me and Xi Jinping, we go back. But I do not support the Chinese communist government at all. Okay, they, they, they do. They gotta learn how to treat the folks over there. With that being that, I just scored some points. I know. With that being said, these phones, a lot of times when you buy these Chinese phones and you bring them to America, you might not get 5G in certain areas. Certain apps don't work the way they want to work and all of that. This is a safe bet right here. Okay. You buy this phone, you turn it on tomorrow, you're getting 5G. It's going to work on every carrier. And not only is it going to work, it's going to work like butter. No lag at all. Silky smooth. And it's going to work like this for the life of the phone. That's why I love Pixels, and that's why, I, honestly, that's why I'm so hard on these Google phones, because I'm waiting for the Google Pixel 7, maybe the 8, maybe the 9, to actually come out with an all-around flagship phone. Now, y'all remember back in the days when Google was putting this, I'm going off on a little rant, when Google was putting their Nexus phones, so they need to do that again. They need to come out with a new Nexus, let Samsung make the hardware. Okay, let let another carrier, let, uh, let another uh, uh, company, let another company make the hardware and then put this Google software. Imagine this software right here on a Galaxy S22 Ultra, five gangster alpha Omega Supreme, AKA Galactus. Imagine Galactus running this software. It would be game over. Galactus with this camera, forget about it. All right, forget about it. Forget about it. All right, shout out to shout out to Paulie Walnuts and um and um the other was the other guy from Goodfellas. Both of them passed away. R.I.P. to two of my favorite. Forget about it, actors. <laughs> Let's get back on track. Now, as far as going through the, um, I'm not gonna go through all of the settings on this phone because there ain't really too much to talk about, but we'll just look at some of the main stuff. You do have your live transcript. So if you're watching TV, matter of fact, I'll show you how that works real quick. I'll pull up, let me pull up a video. All right, check this out. Now say you're watching a video and you wanna transcribe the words to text. So maybe you can send it over to somebody else. Just the words, this is all you gotta do. And you're not going to need any popcorn or thought juice. I'm going to try to make this video as quick as I can. Because basically, if you see my real review for the 6 Pro, everything that I like and don't like are pretty much exactly the same, except... How dope is that? 
Now, if I wanted to, I could just screenshot that and be like, yo, you heard what they said on that show? Da, 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 without sending the actual video, just the actual words. Or maybe somebody has a little accent or something they're talking, you can't really understand what they're saying. Live translate. All right, I like that. All right, I like that. That's one of the uh, little low-key features. Now, of course, you got mic and camera access from your toggles, so you can turn that on and off for security. Let's go to settings. Anything we really need to see here? Not much. All right, like there's no gimmicky features, so nothing to really go through. Let's just uh, touch on the basics. Let me just pause this real quick. Let's touch on the basics. Uh, of course, let's go to... Okay, you got Bluetooth. You do have NFC. Okay, you got deep VPNs, private DNS. Let's go to notifications. Anything to see here? Not really, not really. Let's go to uh, battery. All right, let's talk about battery. I will say this. The battery on all of these Pixel phones is pretty good. Okay, now when you first get the phone, it might seem like the battery's pretty trash, but what you gotta do is you gotta go to adaptive preferences. Make sure you got on adaptive battery. Now, you're going to have to use the phone. Use it heavy. I right, go crazy with it. Use it heavy. At, f at first, it might seem like, oh, man, I've been using the phone for three hours straight. It's a lot of battery drain. Use it heavy. Use it heavy. Use it heavy. After a couple of days, you're going to notice that the phone starts to learn your pattern, and it's going to be a way better battery experience. Now, you also got adaptive charging. If you plan on keeping this phone for a couple of years, put on an adaptive charging. So this way, overnight, it'll charge it up slowly. That's actually better for the battery. Okay, nothing really to see there with that. Let's go to our uh, display, 60 hertz. <laughs> no, no, nothing really. Colors you do have, natural boosted or adaptive. Really nothing to see with that. Accessibility, all right, if you're hearing or visually impaired, you do have all of the features. And that's pretty much it. I mean, there's no, there's no gimmicks to really talk about. Nothing to really talk about. But what I, I will say this. The software experience, super smooth. Watch this. Go to apple.com. As far as voice recognition, Google does it the best. Google does it the best. Okay, so here's your scrolling speeds. Now, I, don't get me wrong. Even though it has 60 hertz, that doesn't mean it's trash. That doesn't mean it's slow. It's just, it just doesn't have, it just doesn't look the same visually to your eyes on certain, visually to, as opposed to whatever. <laughs> It doesn't. It doesn't look the same when you're looking at it. When you're using certain apps and certain um, certain apps and certain games that you're playing, you'll notice it just feels a little slow. It doesn't have that extra zippiness to it. It is what it is. But if you want to, you got split screen multitasking. Okay, so we could do. Um... All right, my bad. I had to take a quick phone call. Let's get back in. Split screen multitasking. Okay, we we'll split it. Do YouTube on the bottom. Okay, so there's Apple on the top, YouTube on the bottom. Now, say I want to watch a video. Let's click on this. Bring it up. Exit out. And we got picture in picture. Okay. Again, the software is just silky smooth, buttery smooth. You're going to love it. All right, you're going to love it. All right, so now let's test out the dual speakers. Of course, I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. Here we go. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? The speaker sounds surprisingly good. I'm gonna cover up the bottom. Listen to how loud the top is. Nice amount of bass. I like it. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rabier. The speakers on this phone, no issues at all. Okay, that's one thing that I can't complain about. It does have great speakers. All right, so now let's check out this display. 
and it does look beautiful. Basically bezel-less. Okay, a little punch hole camera. Great viewing angles. No issues. Nice speakers, nice display. Under 500 bucks, you cannot complain. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's try a little bit of gaming. Of course, we got the usual Asphalt 9. They got some new music on this one. Okay. The speakers are great, though. I will say that. Okay, nice and loud. Okay, here we go. 360. Okay. All right, let me stop. Okay, let me, here we go. Woo! I wrapped them. I'm gonna try to go. I'm gonna try to go high this time. Oh, he, he, he got in my way. He got in my way. There it is. Woo! Okay, I took the high road. Now look at all this action on screen. No lag at all. I'm 316 off of buildings, bro. Who am I? Okay, here we go. Okay, and if you look, shoes is not impressed. Anyway, gaming on the Pixel 6a, no issues at all, okay? This is a flagship processor and GPU is gonna run any game you throw at it from the Android market. Now, before I get into the camera, let me talk about my favorite feature of the Pixel phones. Now, it's on the 6a, it's on the 6, it's on the 6 Pro, it's speech to text, okay? Google does it the best. They do it better than any phone on the market right now. The speech to text is incredible. That's why this is still gonna be my work phone, the Pixel. That's why I use this phone every day when I'm replying to comments, when I'm shooting emails. Let me show you how it works. Let me go to Instagram. Let's see, um, <laughs> somebody put white shoes calm down. I wanna reply. Watch this. That's a fact. Laughing emoji. Send. Bang, just like that. I'm in my bed all day replying to comments and you don't gotta talk like a robot. You could curse, you could talk regular. Watch this, let me pull up a text message. All right, watch this. <laughs> Yo, call me back, you punk ass motherfucker. I'm taking a shit. Look what came out. Send. <laughs> Bro, this is so dope. It's so epic. It's so much fun. Let's try that again. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk regular. All right, I'm talking regular. I'm trying to send a text message. Let's see if I could get Google to make a mistake. Anyway, laughing emoji. Send. Bung. Yo, this is so dope. And th th the funny thing is, I, I catch myself, like, I'll be replying to comments, and I'll be like, LOL. I'll be having a dead ass straight face like LOL send. <laughs> but the the speech to text, it works amazing on the 6A, the 6, the 6 Pro. I love it. That is my all time favorite feature. So if you got to work and you got to send a lot of emails or you got to reply to a lot of stuff, this is a godsend. You can have the phone on a, on a dock like this and just be having, saying messages, send. Say the next message, send. This is so dope. You can have Google Voice open up the message, uh, send the message to John, say the whole message, send, without touching the phone. That is epic. All right, so now we gotta talk about the camera. This is by far the best camera that you're gonna get on any phone under 500 bucks. Better than phones that cost 600, 700, 800, even $900 phones, okay? I can only name a couple of phones that I would even compare to the Pixels camera that are Android phones, maybe the Galaxy Galactus, the Oppo, the Vivo, and Sony. But all of these Realme phones, these Redmi phones, these OnePlus phones, they cannot compete with the Pixel camera. And even on this peasant version of the phone, the camera is top tier. All right, top tier. Wait till you see these pictures and videos for yourself. Now, I usually don't like to talk about it. I like to be about it. 
but I'm going to talk about it a little bit. I want y'all to take a look at these pictures and keep this in mind that this is from a phone that's 450 bucks. Now, you got night mode, okay? You got portrait mode, okay? Regular camera. You got wide angle all the way up to seven times zoom, okay? You got video, 4K 60 frames per second or 1080p, and you got a uh, panorama, photosphere and lens, okay? The funny thing about this camera, now I was out the other night taking some night shots. The funny thing about this camera is it's all about the software. So when you pull out the camera at night, the picture's gonna look grainy, it's gonna look fuzzy. You're gonna be like, damn, this kinda looks like trash. You're gonna take that picture. And I'm like, damn, it looks kinda grainy. Then when you go to your gallery and that picture processes, it is gonna blow your mind, okay? Night shots, <laughs> the, the night camera on this phone is better than a lot of flagship phones, okay? I cannot stress enough how dope this camera is, okay? Take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself. Thank you.
All right, so now let's do the RDA test, regular daily activities. Now you're spending 450 bucks on the phone. How does it work in the real world? Let's find out. Now there's no wireless charge, so you're probably not gonna have a dock. You're gonna have it laying flat just like this, but you can see the time, date, battery percentage, and your notifications without touching the phone. Now when you're ready to get up, all you gotta do is pick up the phone, hit the fingerprint sensor, bong, you in there. And like I said earlier, I can make the fingerprint sensor work 100% of the time. All I gotta do is actually just take my time and press it and hold it, okay? It's always gonna work. I'm just used to going like this and opening up phones, but if you press it and hold it, it's gonna open 100% of the time. Let's check the weather, 82 degrees, which means it's about 95 down here right now. That's why I'm down here boiling. Beautiful day in New York City. Let's keep it moving. Now let's do a little bit of work. Take it over to my emails. Now this is exactly why the Pixel is my work phone. Let's reply to this email, okay? No thanks, your company is trash. Bang, just like that, I'm not, now I'm not gonna send that. <laughs> but that's how I, that's exactly how I reply to messages all day. I just talk. That's why it's my work phone, okay? T speech to text, I love it. Okay, that's my work segment of the day. Exit out of that. Next, let's take it over to Twitter. Okay, here's how your tweet gonna look, your tweets. Let's go to mentions. Let's see anybody talking about me. Let's see, uh, okay, anything to really see here. Okay, that's a nice little car right there. Um, ain't really nothing going on on Twitter. Okay, let's see, everybody talking about OnePlus getting rid of the alert slider. Okay, that was that's the whole point of this thread. I think let, let's see. I think that was um this thread right here. That was a MKBHD comment. Uh, they're getting rid of the alert slider, and I was like, the glory days is over, which they are. The glory days at OnePlus, they pretty much coming to an end. Anyway, this is how your Twitter is gonna look. Okay, now one no 120 hertz refresh rate. The scrolling speed is is okay. It's okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's okay. Let's exit out of that. Next, let's take it over to TikTok. Let's uh, turn the volume down. Don't happen. Okay, we got Jay Hove. Okay, uh, cooking, now I like that. Why he, had, why he had to do the wine pour like that? I respect that, I respect that, man. Okay, now this is what I'm talking about. This just activated my fat glands, okay? My fat gland just swolled up real quick. That look like some empanadas. All right, let me go ahead and, let me go ahead and like that. All right, let me go ahead and like that, okay? Things to do in New York for under 20 bucks. I, I don't know about that. I, anything under 20 bucks, that's, that's, that's get robbed territory. <laughs> the, the vult, that's where the vultures be at. All right, let's see. All right, let's see. Um, let's keep it moving. Okay. I hate when they make these videos telling you all the foods not to eat after you've been eating them for about 30 years. <laughs> I don't need to see this shit now, bro. It's too late. All right, we got Benny the Butcher. All right, the, he got the strongest sideburns in the game. All right, that's my guy. Shout out to Benny. All right, that's my guy. Okay, now, <laughs> this guy, now see, I'm all into prank videos and all of that, but this guy right here, he gets on my nerves because my thing is, my thing is, when people are out shopping and all of that, you don't know who's having a bad day, who's having a good day. Leave people alone, all right? Play with your friends. Stop playing with strangers, all right? I don't like that. Now, certain pranks, like, all right, you know, you're going to give the person some money or whatever, but all a lot of these, you know, gimmicky pranks, they, you know, I don't like that. I don't like that. Leave people alone, especially me. All right? Leave me alone, bro. Anyway, back to the fat glands. Okay, oh, look at that snake. Look at that. Where, what spot is this? I got to like all this. This in New York City? Bro, I'm hitting that. I'm hitting that. See, that's what I'm talking about. I'm, see, you, you can tell I'm a fat fuck because uh, when, when you go to my feed, all you see is mad food, yeah. That's how you know I'm fat, yeah. Anyway, so here's how your Twitter's going to look. I mean, um, <laughs> your Instagram. Okay, this is a family This is a family All right, anyway, let's keep it moving. Next, let's go to Facebook. All right, let's see who died today, because you know Facebook, man, it's all about, it's every time you go to Facebook, man, it's another funeral, yo. That's how you know you're getting old. You be scared to go to Facebook like, damn, it's another funeral, yo. Another one bites the dust. All right, let's see uh, Tony's relationship with Gollum. Damn, Tony, the times, times, times can't be this hard, bro. Maybe they are. Maybe the inflation, yo. Inflation got you dating Gollum. Yo, the jackpot, $1 billion. Bro, you know I got to cop a ticket, because if I win... If I win, I'm giving all of y'all, I'm giving all of y'all, all of my subscribers, $1,000 if I win, yeah. 
and then I'm faking my own death and moving to Switzerland, yeah? All right, that's the end of YouTube, yeah? <laughs> anyway, all right, so this is how your Facebook is going to look real dope. Now, of course, while I'm on Facebook, if I want to, I can do a little split-screen multitasking. Okay, here's all my apps open at the bottom. I can be on Facebook and TikTok at the same time. Okay, bounce. All right, so now let's take it over to Instagram. Okay, let's go home. <laughs> Let's take a chance. All right. <laughs> take a chance and scroll through Instagram. Okay, so we got some World Star Hip Hop activities. Okay. It's a nice dress. Okay, workout. Working out. Okay, I did, you know, that wasn't bad. This, this is PG. This is still PG 13. Adam Animals. Okay, this is still PG 13. This is a Remy show with PG 13. Shout out to my, my, my man Max. Make sure y'all following Tracks NYC. That's the jewelry plug right now. Okay, let's see. Uh, what's he doing? Crunching cans, huh? All right, that looked like the, he practicing doing the river dance on cans. Okay, I respect that. People be, I was a Okay, look, look baby size Jordans, huh? Oh, I remember, I remember buying sneakers this small. Aw. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad it's over, though. My man Cuban knows jewelry. All right, this is my guy, right? Look at the, the salt and pepper beard, bro. We getting no, man. Let me get him like that man's photo, you know what I'm saying? Show some support. See, fat glands right here. I'll be, this is the type of shit I'll be making in the house here. All right, fried chicken with waffles on the inside. Bacon, bacon and chicken. All right, I like cat videos. Look how look how big this cat is. Look at the, 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 the shoes back there. She was back there chilling. Okay, okay, anyway. So this is how your Instagram is going to look. Martin Payne. <laughs> Yo, bro, what, what, what? Imagine you in the bathroom and you see this, yeah? Nah, bro. <laughs> All right, let's see. Was that cow tongue? Oh, no. This is. This is <laughs> All right, here we go. Let me, just, let me just make sure this is. All right. <laughs> let me just double check something. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, did, I had to check that. Okay. Anyway, so here's how your Instagram is going to be 60 hertz refresh rate. It is what it is. Bomb. Anyway, let's wrap this up. Overall. On a scale of 1 to 10, all right, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give the Google Pixel 6a a major, major go. Now, I got to take away one major because it doesn't have face unlock, doesn't have wireless charge, okay? It doesn't have enough RAM and storage, it doesn't have fast charge. I'm only taking away one major for that and still giving it a double major go because the battery life is great, the build quality all right, for if you into plastic phones, this is your dream phone. But even if you're not, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like garbage. It just doesn't have the glass feel to it. But the build quality is great. Okay, I'm just gonna say it's great. The camera is out of this world. The software is out of this world. The support that you're gonna get from Google is out of this world. Okay, this is a beast. All of my Pixel phones. If y'all watch my videos, I always call these phones. Big Bertha, all right? When I, whenever I, when I'm talking, I'll be like, yo, hold up, where Big Bertha at? When I say Big Bertha, people that know me, if I say, yo, um, pass me Big Bertha, that means the Pixel. This is all reliable, okay? This is all reliable. I got a Galaxy, I got a, I got a, uh, I'm a Xiaomi phone, I got a Realme phone. When it's time to do some work, the Pixel phone is coming out. Same thing, I would be comfortable, okay? I would be comfortable using this as my work phone if I was gonna use my iPhone 13 as my main phone and I wanted a backup phone, I could easily use this. And I'll take it a little step further. If I wanted to just use this as my daily phone, which I did for a couple of days, I could easily do that. Because right now, look, look at shoes being extra cute. If I wanna just do a quick point and shoot, bong, watch this, watch when the process is, and look how the picture comes out. Look at that. Now this phone is 450 bucks taking pictures like this, taking those night shots. This is a reliable phone. It's gonna work on any carrier. Okay, you're gonna get 5G services. You're gonna get four years of updates. When Android 13 comes out, guess who got it first? You. When Android 14 comes out, you got it first. Any updates, security patches, and I'm, I, I'm, look, yeah, y'all know I'm kind of hard on Google, but I'm giving them props right now because when the Pixel 6 Pro came out, the fingerprint sensor was complete garbage, complete garbage. They fixed it. They pushed the thousand and one updates. It seemed like every day I picked up this phone, there was an update on it. Now the fingerprint sensor is working good enough that I had to put it back in my top five. Okay, so if you don't take anything away from this video, take this. I take this away. This is the best phone you could get 
for under 500 bucks that's going to work on every carrier. Period. That's why I say Google Google wins this time. They win. All right, when it comes to a mid-range phone that's going to give you flagship performance, flagship camera, without all the flagship bells and whistles, Google is definitely winning that one. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to talk serious, but I, I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm sorry. I gotta get one. Let me get one more photo here. Let me get. Let me see if I can get a, get a nice one here. Bang. That's what I love about the Pixel. This is a point and shoot camera, and that's another thing. The Pixel is one of those phones that a, a lot of times I be testing out uh, Black Shark phones and and um, Red Magic phones and all of these gaming phones and Realme and Redmi and all of these companies you never heard of. And I'll be testing the phone out and I'll be somewhere and I got to take a quick picture and I'll be like, damn, I got to quickly go in my pocket, pull out my iPhone, go in my other pocket, pull out my Galaxy. The phone that I'm testing, I would not trust that classic picture or real picture to it. With the Pixel, I don't care where I'm at or what I'm doing, if I got the 6, the 6 Pro, if I got the um, 6A, whatever Pixel I got, if something's going down and I want to capture a good memory, I'm, I'm, I'm going to feel confident taking it with this camera. Okay, this is a great phone for the price. Now, again, I got to be tough on Google because Google, if y'all watch this video, you could easily be in the top three phones. I, the Pixel 7 could easily be in the top three Android phones. Okay, all you need is face unlock. Okay, you need face unlock. You need a high refresh rate. You need fast battery charging. Okay, you, we, you, you need some gimmicks. Now, some people are gonna call them gimmicks. I, I just, I'm just saying gimmicks so people understand what I'm talking about. But you need something like Galaxy has with the edge panels, how Xiaomi has with the floating windows. You need some more stuff to make the phone seem less boring. Okay, we put some stuff on it with the same with the same t speech to text and the same, you know, the, the enhancements that you get from having a tensor chipset. The seven could be amazing. Google, if you need help, I'm available. All right, call me on the phone. We can have a chat. I'll show you how to make the 7 a top seller. Otherwise, if I leave y'all to y'all own devices, we're going to be sitting right back here again. I'm going to be bashing y'all again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And we're going to continue the cycle. Or bring back the Nexus. Let Samsung make the hardware and you deliver the uh, software. Anyway, Google Pixel 6a, okay, the Supreme Peasant phone. I'm stamping it down with my peasant seal of approval from one peasant to another. Let me get a little wipe down because I want y'all to see it. All right, this is the Supreme Peasant phone. No issues at all with performance, okay? Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. And hashtag peasants unite. We all got to stick together. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. Pitching me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Do so. Enterprise. Spock here. Spock won the beam up. Some of that technology, you gotta understand certain things. Subscribe to Flossy Carter. He does reviews of all the latest technology. 
the iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck. The beach by that doctor guy. And he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at. You know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.